Yo, what's up YouTube? Hope you're doing well today. And this video is going to be about today's Tarkov TV podcast where Nikita uh, showed us different uh, things which are coming in the next patch and shared a couple of interesting uh, facts about Arena and other other things. So I'll try to keep this video as short as possible as I always try to. And if you're enjoying uh, my videos of this type, the new type of videos, please let me know. Please let me know down in the comments below and share those videos with the friends and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I'll probably do a voiceover and I'll show some parts of BG's stream. So first of all, when is wipe? Nikita said that wipe is coming, it is definitely coming with a patch, 100% confirmed, but nobody knows when patch is coming. Right now BSG is polishing the patch and whenever it's ready they'll release it. Nikita didn't give any dates, but I personally think patch is gonna come somewhere one week to three weeks away from now on, so probably somewhere at the end of June. Nikita also mentioned that there will be pre-wipe events before the wipe hits, so please do wait for those ones. Let's talk about Arena. Nikita mentioned that Arena will come with closed beta and most active ETS testers will receive invites, as well as uh, some other people, I guess maybe some of the shimmers. EOD will be purchasable till the game actually fully comes out, uh, till, till when it's released. Nikita also mentioned that Arena will not be expensive. You will be able to buy Arena by itself if you don't have an EOD account. Nikita also mentioned that if you do have EOD, it's going to be pretty easy and quick to switch between two games. Nikita said that Arena will come with many maps. At first, there's going to be 5 to 6 small maps and 1 to 2 medium sized maps. Arena will include indoor and outdoor locations. There will be a Spectator mode, mode, or at least it is planned. There will be two teams per match. There will be matchmaking in Arena, and you will be able to make custom games and play them with your friends. Nikita also mentioned that there will be much better service for Arena. And the secret should be something around 100. That's really good. Also, there will be tasks which you can uh, do in Arena in order to unlock different items and different attachments. Very likely that Arena will have stationary weapons and it will have night maps. <clears throat> there will be no secured containers in Arena and some type of loot will spawn on the maps. Nikita also mentioned that it is likely that Arena will release on Steam separately. Mechanics, physics and gunplay will be the same as an EFT. Arena will have unlockable presets, but if you do have the main version of the game, you will be able to play with the gear which you can get from, from your main version of the game, from your stash. Arena will have a PvE mode where you will be able to fight bosses as well as there will be some sort of gambling in Arena. A bit about Sheets. Sheets is ready in terms of environment, like the map is built. It's ready, but it's not ready in terms of playability. Right now, they are very low frames and BG is trying their best to optimize the map. So what new stuff are we getting next wipe? We're getting the Benelli shotgun, which shoots in semi and full auto. Cheeks. Он постреляет просто там бам бам там. О. Это что происходит такое у тебя? А, небольшие лаги. Ну давай переключайся вот вот. Давай, давай, фига. And we're also getting G36. А ты в, ты в другой прицел посмотри. О oh, боже мой, какой ужас. О мой лорд. Those are not the only guns we're getting. There will be more, and not all of them are shown during Tarkov TV. There will be also more gear, more clothing, and um, other items. We're also getting three special slots, which are unlootable. You will be able to put rangefinder, radio, compass, and some other items in those slots. One of the newest guns which is coming to Tarkov is RD-704. We are also getting new flares. Red one is for airdrop. And there will also be other type of flares, blue and green, which are not being used at the moment. Like, they have no, no functionality. Also, Nikita mentioned that there will be four different types of airdrops. There will be a usual one, there will be a supply airdrop, and there will be a medical one. I'm not sure about the fourth one. 
As I mentioned before, there is a light flare, green and blue, which have no functionality at the moment, but Nikita also mentioned that they will be used for some of the quests. Talking about the lighthouse bosses, the three bosses which were teased are roaming bosses, and Nikita said that they can go to other maps too. For example, we will be able to find those bosses on customs. Two new Yusek voices and two new broken English bear voices are coming to the game with the next patch. And I think I'm personally gonna swap to bear, I really want to try those broken English hello blood uh, voice lines and I'll play as a bear. Also some of the sounds were changed, for example there will be a difference between thick wood and uh, thin wood footsteps. There also will be an additional teaser for bosses. FSR is coming to Tarkov for AMD users, I guess it's an alternative to NVIDIA's DLSS and works in a similar way. Also scav daily quests are coming to the game. BSG also reworked the way night vision works and right now if you have an infrared light it actually works as intended. We will be able to play in co-op mode with our friends, it will be hosted on BSG servers only for EOD owners, might change in the future, and there should be up to 11 friends in a group, and it could be two groups as far as I understood, so 22 players in one lobby is max. New GL is actually lootable and playable, and the only way to get it is from the boss. You can't sell it and you can't buy it on the flea market. A new 338 bolt action is coming. It's also coming with a silencer, and the silencer will be applicable mm. to Lapua. BG is also adding sounds when you drop the guns to the ground. A new rifle MP18. Some of the new animations. <laughs> Crouch. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to click that uh, like button. Also, feel free to check out my other socials. Instagram, where I post pictures from my real life. Twitter, where I share all the news and my thoughts. And don't forget about my Twitch channel, where I stream daily. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.